Well, I wasn't expecting this trailer, and I don't think anyone else was, but now that we've got it, I have some concerns. So just in case you missed it, the trailer for Universal's reboot of The Invisible Man was released the other day, and this movie could potentially be the start of the Dark Universe yet again. After the failed attempts of Dracula Untold and The Mummy 2017, this could be their next possible bet. Even though they are releasing it in February and it's a very small production, it could still be the case. And no, Johnny Depp is not involved in this. The movie is also being produced by Blumhouse, and that's known for doing small budget pictures, and Johnny Depp is way too expensive for that. So what we're looking at here is a much smaller feature. And I may as well say the thing that I think is positive first. It does look like it could be a good psychological thriller. The main plot is about how you have a woman who's being tormented by the Invisible Man, and of course, nobody believes her because, well, you can't see him, he's invisible, but he's there, which always makes someone sound crazy. So it doesn't necessarily feel like a bad plot, but nevertheless, I do have my concerns because, well, this doesn't really seem like the Invisible Man. In fact, if I'm being honest, the first time I read the plot description for this movie, which was right before I found the trailer, my first thought was, it sounds like a Lifetime movie, about a woman getting tormented by her crazy ex-boyfriend. That is the plot, that is what it sounds like. The twist is just that the ex-boyfriend is invisible this time around. Although, heck, looking at it, I could probably make a few tweaks to the script and he wouldn't have to be invisible. And I do find that to be somewhat concerning. Partly because we already saw that in Hollow Man, but also because it seems to have thrown everything else about the Invisible Man right out the window. Griffin, in the original book and of course the 1933 film, is an interesting character. He's a guy who was out to just see what he could do in a particular scientific field, wound up experimenting on himself and going insane when he couldn't find a way to reverse his condition, only for that insanity to turn into megalomania and make him think that perhaps being invisible isn't so bad and might give him ultimate power. It's a great story about how science and power, when left unchecked, can be destructive and dehumanizing, and Griffin himself is one of the most interesting characters in all of science fiction and horror. This movie has replaced all of that with a crazy stalker ex-boyfriend. Which isn't really the same as what we were just talking about. In fact, from the look of it, the Invisible Man himself is barely going to be in this movie. He's more going to be a presence, which could work, perhaps. But again, you're kind of missing the point here. The Invisible Man is about the Invisible Man. He's the focus. Here he just seems to be a boogeyman that could potentially be replaced by anyone, and that's just not as interesting to me. Also, like I said, just a few tweaks and you could remove the invisibility portion from this film entirely, at least going on what the trailer shows us. Based on just this trailer, I will say this doesn't look like it'll be a terrible movie, certainly not in the way the last two attempts at starting the Dark Universe have been. I just don't know if it's going to be a good Invisible Man movie, because it really does seem like it missed the point. It feels like it was a completely different script that had the Invisible Man part slapped onto it after the fact. And I wouldn't be surprised if that really was the case. I guess we'll see. I mean, it's been a while since we've gotten an Invisible Man movie, or since the Invisible Man has appeared in a movie. Last time I remember was League of Extraordinary Gentlemen, and that wasn't even the original Invisible Man. So, who knows, maybe this movie will turn out to be just the breath of fresh air Universal needs to get its much-desired shared universe off the ground. But I am skeptical. I'll keep my eyes on it, and I'll hope for improvement. But I can't say I think this movie looks especially good. Certainly not as an Invisible Man movie. But then again, those are just my thoughts. Until such time as we meet again, this is the OmniViewer signing off. 
If you enjoyed this video, be sure to like it as well as subscribe to the channel for more content of a similar nature. Also, check the description for links to our Twitter, DeviantArt, and Patreon pages, as well as the Amazon link for the novel Operation Red Dragon The Daikaiju Wars Part 1, penned by yours truly. Thank you all, and we appreciate your support.